Welcome to another edition of English Makes No Sense. So glad you could join me right here on the English Makes No Sense YouTube channel. It is I, S.L. Rockfish, your happy hostess. So glad to see you. Today, we're going to do some reading and practice fluency, especially for those I was on an Instagram live and people are like, how can I practice my English fluency? or increase my ability to speak English. And I said, practice with Dr. Seuss. Now, here in America, we're all about Dr. Seuss. So if you look at my board, whoa, we got thing one and thing two, Thidwick, the big hearted moose, and oh, the places you can go. And then I have this really big red book back here, but has 13 Dr. Seuss book stories in it. We're crazy about Dr. Seuss. And his birthday is a day where we celebrate literacy. So I think that today is close to his birthday, if this falls right on the birthday. Um, and I want to show you just how easy it is. So thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe if you like what you see. If you're like, I'm not into reading. Then there's other videos down here. We do English lessons. Uh, pronunciation, crazy pronunciation problems, fun with the English language, increased through sayings, all sorts of stuff. But I listened to what people said on our Instagram live. And by the way, fun times. Thank you, Paloma and everyone in Brazil. And we heard from Brazil, Saudi Arabia, Russia. Um, gosh, I'm going to leave somebody out and I'm going to feel bad. Argentina, Peru, Colombia. So much fun. But let's get started. What pet should I get? Okay, this is what I love about Dr. Seuss. A lot of one-syllable words, which helps us increase our vocabulary. Now, you, if you're thinking, but I'm an adult, I can't read a kid's book. Yeah, you can. Look at the video I posted the other day. I was reading in Spanish and in English because I want to get better at Spanish. See? Here we go. Dr. Seuss. And I, let me give a plug to my library. I went to the library because I love the library. Free books. I mean, what's better than that? Great thing about Dr. Seuss, amazing art, amazing rhyming, and just all around fun. So here we go. We want a pet. We want a pet. What kind of pet should we get? Great practice. I love pets. Dad said we could have one. Dad said he would pay. I went to the pet shop. I went there with Kay. And so we went in. Practice saying that. You can pause this and practice. Then what do you know? We saw two other kinds. Now how could Kay and I make up our minds? A pup and a kitten. They look like good fun. Now, which would we pick? We could only pick one. That's a big decision. Make up your mind. The cat or the dog? The kitten? The pup? Oh boy, it is something to make a mind up. Isn't that the truth? Adults have a problem with that, too. Then I looked all around. I saw something with wings. I said, look at him. We can pick one that sings. But then... Look over there, said my sister Kay. We can go home with a rabbit today. A rabbit? What a great pet. How do you choose? I'm going to hold it right here. That way you can pause and practice. And then listen to what I do. Then you do. Ah! Then I looked at Kay. I said, what will we do? I like them. I like all the pets that I see. So do you. We have to pick one pet and pick it out soon. You know, mother said, whoopsie. I make 
mistakes too. You know, Mother told us to be back by noon. By noon. Noon's a fun word. But notice these are almost all one syllable words and it helps you get confident. Mother is too. Yeah, I know. But it's still cool. <gasps> and I could have done it. I could have, I bet, I could have said what pet we should get. But you know what Kay did. What did Kay do? What? Do you know what she did? She said fish, 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 fish. It may be a fish is the pet that we wish. I like fish, but you can't take it for a walk. Then I saw a new kind and they were good too. How could I pick one? Now what should we do? I could only pick one. That is what my dad said. I'm right down here. But how could I make up that mind in my head? Whoa. Notice the rhyme? Dr. Seuss gets a rhythm and a rhyme. It's good practice. I'm going to try to find a Spanish one. I promise. That's for that. Make up your mind. Pick a pet fast. Pick one out soon. Mother and dad will be home by noon. Better pick. How do you pick? The time may be now to make up my mind, but who knows what other good pets I might find. I might find a new one, a fast kind of thing. I'm over here. Who would fly around my head in a ring on a string. A lot of people, I learned on my Instagram live, the ING words. I'm going to read, read that one, okay? I might find a new one, a fast kind of thing who would fly around my head in a ring on a string. Yes, that would be fun, but our house is so small. This thing on a string would bump, bump into the wall. My mother, I know, would be not like my, my mother, I know, would not like that at all. I wouldn't either if I were a mother. Oh, I am a mother. My kids wouldn't do that. Ta-da! So maybe some other good kind of pet. Another kind of maybe is what we should get. We might find a new kind, a pet who is tall. A tall pet with who fits on a space that is small. My mother might like the best, the this pet best of all. I should reread that because it's hard to see because I have old eyes. My mother might like this pet best of them all. What could it be? Whoa! If we had a big tent, then we would be able to take home a yent. Dad would like us to have a good yent, but how do I know he would pay for a tent? So you see how it is when you pick out a pet? How can you make up what mind what to how can you make up your mind what to get? But I'm not getting a yen. What if we took one of each kind of pet? Then out then our house would be full of the pets we would get. No! Dad would be mad. We can only have one. If we do not choose, we will end up with none. Don't end up with none. I will do it right now. I will do it, I said. I will make up my mind that is up in my head. The dog or the rabbit. The fish or the cat. I picked one out fast, and then that was that. And then that was that. What do you think he picked? <gasps> we'll never know because that's the end of the book. Ta-da! And it doesn't say the end because here's a whole lot about Dr. Seuss. So, it's a fun book because it has a pace and a rhythm. It helps you practice. So rewind. Take, some pay take a look at the pictures. 
you practice, then listen to me or vice versa. Okay. I hope you enjoyed it. Dr. Seuss is fun. And that was a little long. So I appreciate you staying with me if you're still here. Leave me questions or comments below. Let me know what you think. Peace, my friends. It's always good to see you.